So I'm just leaving and there is a line. So I'm really glad that um, I came when I did because I avoided having to stand in the lines. I actually got here at 9.30, not realizing that they closed at 10. And so, not that they closed at 10, they opened at 10. So um, I just parked out front and then when they opened, I was able to go in and uh, yeah, I was the third person in line. Process is really smooth. They don't let a lot of people in at one time. In addition to not letting one um, more than, um, not one person, I'm sorry. They don't let a lot of people in at one time. So I would say they probably let anywhere from maybe 10 to 15 people in the store at one time. And then when you get to the register, as soon as they finish with your transaction, they wipe everything down. Um, to prepare you for the um, next per the next um, shopper. So I did appreciate that. But now I'm getting ready to uh, head back so that I can get to Home Depot. And hopefully I don't have to wait in a line outside because if I do, then I'm not going to do that um, just to return this tape and get some more. So I'm getting ready to head out right now. Um, and go ahead and get my day started. I have a couple of things that I have to do. So I'm going to do those things and that's it. And um, I will talk with you guys in a bit. Today is Sunday, June the 14th. And I don't know about you guys, but because I've been working from home, I have not been able to keep up with the dates as much or the days of the week. So today is Sunday, June the 14th. And so yesterday I ventured out, I had to run to Home Depot to pick up some more packaging tape. And I also told you guys that I was going to go by Bath and Body Works. And as you can see, I did go by Bath and Body Works and I was gonna go by Tuesday morning. I did not get a chance to go by Tuesday morning. There were some things that I had going on and I also had to get back to the house. So. I did go to Bath and Body Works. That was my first stop. I actually got up about seven. I left the house about nine and um, it took me probably about 30 minutes to go to the location that I went to. I didn't go to a location in the mall. I'm not interested in actually like going into a mall type setting just yet. So it was a uh, strip mall where there is a standalone store. So that's where I went. Um, so I. When I got there, it probably was right at nine o'clock and the store of course was not open. You know, I left the house at nine, I got there at 9.30. The store was not open, they did not open until 10. And so with that being said, I was one of the first ones to arrive. So I parked in front and was able to just wait for the store to open up. And then shortly after you started seeing other people trickle in. So by the time, you know, it was about five minutes till people started to get out their cars. And so I ended up being, um, there was a couple that were together. And so I was behind them. So I ended up being third in line. And so what they have been doing, and I, like I said, I haven't been in any, in any stores shopping since the pandemic other than grocery stores. When you go inside, the setup is they have bags. So they have the small bags and they also have the larger bags. They have them in the front of the store on both sides. Well, not in the front. Well, if you're speaking of the front as from the entrance when you're entering the store, the bags are on the left and on the right side. So when customers come in, you can choose whatever bag you want, the small or large. So in my case, I just picked up two of the large bags because I knew that I was going to um, purchase uh, quite a few candles. And so I picked up two of the large bags and in the bottom of the bags, they have the crates that um, they have the slots that you can actually sit the candles in. And I can appreciate that because one, they're glass and you don't, it saves them because they don't have to individually wrap them with tissue paper. They can just, you know, when you pick them up, you just sit them down in the different um, slots for them. And it is like, um, it's not styrofoam, but it's like a corrugated, um, type of um, material. But anyway, you don't need to use tissue paper and you don't have to worry about them hitting up against each other and potentially breaking. So 
I can appreciate that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get into uh, my haul and show you some of the items that I picked up. So I'm gonna start um, with some of the smaller things that I picked up. So I have not purchased fragrances in a while. I normally buy, you know, a bunch and it just lasts me for a long time. I love their fragrances, a lot of people don't, and it's just your personal opinion. Now, for me, I like it when I take my shower at night. I like to spray, you know, put on some lotion and also put spray like a body mist. So in spraying the body mist, I feel like, you know, when I go to bed, I'm nice, clean, and smelling, you know, really good and everything. So I like to do that. So I also like, because this is what would be considered on the lower end, I also like higher end fragrances as well. However, for going to bed, I would not want to put on higher end, any type of higher end fragrance. So I save that for like special occasions. If I'm going out on a date, my husband and I going to a wedding, a party or something like that. But for, you know, everyday wear, Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secrets, any of those lotions and uh, body sprays, I have no problem wearing them. Um, and I actually love the way they smell. So, yes. Yeah. So the one that I purchased, I tried to pick up something that I've not had before. So I went with the Cactus Blossom. Not sure if you guys have um, purchased this or had an opportunity to smell it, but it smells really good. And for me, fragrances that I like, I like notes that are sweet, um, floral, and also sensual. So I don't like a strong musk smell and I don't like it to have like a masculine. Sometimes you can purchase colognes or um, not colognes, perfumes that have a, a strong scent to it. Like the notes are very strong and they are also masculine. So it gives off a, a masculine uh, type of uh, smell. I don't like that, not for myself. However, my go-to is always, I notice that I gravitate to fragrances that have a sweet, floral, um, soft, sensual uh, scent to it. So, not sure. But everyone is different, but that's just my, my thing. So, I also purchased this Illuminating Fragrance Mist. And um, this is a different brand. So, this actually goes with... I don't know if they had anything to go with this. So let's see what I did here. They did. So it's the Cactus Blossom. I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the Cactus Blossom, I usually like the lotion and it comes in a bottle like this. They didn't have any more of it. So I ended up, they, the special was buy three, get two free. So I chose to get the shower gel. I normally don't do the shower gel, but I chose to get the shower gel and I really like the scent of it. So I got the fine uh, fragrant mist, the shower gel, and then I also got the body cream. What I like about the body cream, other than the lotion that comes in this, the body cream is a little more thicker. So if you like a, you know, more coverage, um, and this offers 24 hour mo moisture. I haven't tried it, but that's what it says up here. I like to, you know, feel like that I can feel what I put on my body. Not that it's, um, not too thick, but enough to know that my body is hydrated, especially in the summertime, in the winter, not in the summertime, but in the winter months. I like lotions. I only use one lotion, like on my lower extremities. And that is the, um, I can't think of the name, but it'll come back to me. But anyway, getting back to this, the Cactus, Cactus Blossom, the body cream, really good, goes on um, a lot thicker than what the lotion that would come in this type of bottle would come in. So I like that because it gives me the moisture and the hydration that I need for my type of body, so my, for my skin type. So I picked up this Champagne Rose and so it's a delicate and graceful fine mist. I think this um, smells so amazing and I really like it. So I grabbed one. Oh my God, it smells so good guys. So if you have not tried it, I would grab one of these. It's the Champagne Rose. 
and I also got the Rose Illuminating Mist. Now this mist offers a little bit of um, a glitter, not too much, but just a hint. And I think that if you're wearing something and like your shoulders are exposed or a little bit of your, um, your collarbone, and if you have just a little bit up there, I think that it just looks really nice. Not too much where you're um, glistening, but just this little hints is really nice. So I grabbed that and again, guys, this smells really, really good. And then the last one I picked up was the Perfect Peony. Peonies are such beautiful flowers and they're one of my favorites. And um, I also got the Mist. And now this smells good as well. It really does. So I do like uh, the Perfect Peony as well. Out of all three, my favorite right now is the Champagne Rose. And I'm gonna actually spill a little bit. Yes, it smells so good, guys. So I love it. So that's what I picked up. And then lastly, I just grabbed some hand sanitizers. This one is the Mango Dragon Fruit. You are loved. And the last one is a Island Margarita. And I wish I was on an island right now. That sounds so, so good. But anyway, yeah, so I just picked up these purse size and I also like the fact that if I were to carry my wristlet it's small enough and as you can see it's not wide or bulky it will fit inside my wristlet and also the one that I currently have it actually um, loops around my wristlet it has like a fastener type thing that you can kind of attach it to it but if I was going somewhere and I didn't want that on the outside so I wanted something a little more um, you know, if I was going somewhere, we wanted to be a little more classy. These are perfect to go. They would fit inside my wristlet. So I like those. So I'm just gonna put these back. Okay, so moving on to some more of the good stuff. So I'm gonna grab this egg since it's right here. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Guys, I absolutely love this color, the color of the container of the candle. A lot of people don't like the colors of them. I do. Um, I, I just feel like um, some of them can be a little loud and they may, you know, not you know, flow well with your decor, but for some reason, I don't know, it's something about this color that I really, really love. And this is one of the White Barn candles. And their candles, they're, these were $24.50, but of course with the sale, the candles are 50% off and it's the three wick candles. But this one is Island Margarita. And guys, it smells so, so good. So yes, I love a candle. Um, I love to, you know, clean my home, uh, have some music going, and just like candles, or, you know, you could just be relaxing watching a movie. I love once my home is nice and clean, smelling fresh, and then to light a candle, oh my God, that is just like the icing on the cake. So the Island Margarita, oh my God, guys, it smells really good. So, another one that I grabbed was, is, this is another White Barn. This is the Georgia peach. So me being a Georgia resident, of course, I had to grab a Georgia peach. And what I like about this container is there's my pink, guys. You remember I told you pink is my favorite color. Um, and so it's like a pink and then it has gold specks. So this one smells really good. I don't know that I would say it smells like a peach, but it smells so good, it smells yummy, but it's not giving me a peach. I don't know, it could be my um, my scents, I don't know. But I'm not picking up peach, just a little bit, maybe like a sherbet, I'm not sure, but I'm not getting a true peach scent from it, but oh my God, mm, this smells really good too, so. And then the bonus is the container, um, you know, the, the design of the container works as well. So if I was trying to do it in this space, as you can see, I have, um, you know, little pink 
stuff going on, it would flow right in his face. Okay, this one, it gave me a mask. The color comes off masculine to me. And um, this is another white barn candle. And this one is Hibiscus Waterfalls. And so I love this one. It smells really good. Yes, it smells really good. It's like a light, uh, crisp, clean smell. And so this smells really good. So yes, this is the Hibiscus Waterfalls. I like this one as well. So I had to grab it. And this one, I like the way this container looks as well. This is White Barn and this is Pink Apple Punch. And I'm not big on an apple scent. I hate candles that have like an apple smell to it. But if I was, you know, like the scent of like an apple pie bacon, but something about the candles that have like a, the apple scent, I don't like it. And then there's another uh, scent that I don't like as well. But this is not giving me that. Oh my God. This smells so yummy, guys. I can't wait to burn it. And like I said, the container, I don't know, it's just, it comes off a little bit elegant and classy to me. So I like the container a lot. I think it's very nice. So, the last one is, oh, this one, Amazing Mom, and it smells amazing, and this is White Barn as well. Oh my God, it just smells good. So, it's watermelon and lemonade. It smells so good, guys. So I don't know if this one is new because I did not, I missed the sale, both sales last year and I made it my business to catch it this year. And so this is Amazing Mom. They probably had it before. So I'm excited about it because like I said, I didn't get to the sale last year at all. Um, so yes, I got the Amazing Mom and I like it, it smells amazing. So I'm gonna show you what I was talking about, about in the bottom. So it holds six. And so, guys, mm, I just like the convenience of that because I didn't have to worry about um, putting them in the uh, basket. And also another thing about putting them in the basket, they don't have to worry about cleaning them as, as much because as you know with those baskets, once you shop around with them, you put them back. So they're available for the next person. Well, with the... Um, the pandemic and you know with the COVID-19 stuff going on you don't want to have to you know put people in danger as far as them touching stuff that other people have constantly touched and it's the same thing for these things but again it would be like in the grocery stores where they have you we have to do it ourselves but you can wipe down your cart you know um, sanitize it and everything and you probably would say the same about when you're in there and you're searching for fragrances and you're picking them up and you're smelling them but the difference is, it's like they said, keep your hands from your mouth and your face and things of that nature. And then once you're done, I know once I was done and I got in my car, I used my hand sanitizer and I cleaned my hands. So um, it could be the same, but I just felt like I like the convenience of knowing that they've taken those baskets away and that you are just um, able to use what is um, there, like the bags. And it just it's simpler for them also. Uh, for bagging and ringing up. So let me go ahead and get into this one. So this one, I like this one. So as you can see, it kind of looks like this one as well. So this candle is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. And it smells so good, guys. And I'm matching, it's matching me today. So this one smells so good and it just makes me feel like I'm on an island somewhere and the name. So although we, I mean, I'm not traveling anywhere, but those that are, you know, not afraid to travel, you know, hey, go for it. But as for me, I'll just imagine make me some drinks at home and then enjoy my sense of my island candles and I'll be okay. So this one is You Are Loved. So I actually, uh, my daughters wanted me to grab them a candle. So I probably let them pick two that they like. 
Um, maybe, maybe. But I did get them this one, You Are Loved. And um, if they don't want it, they don't necessarily have to take this one. But it smells really good. So this one is a champagne toast. And it smells really, really good. So yeah, this one. All of them are white barn, so yeah. Mark Barn and Bath and Body Works. Um, as they used to be split two separate stores, um, but they merged together. And I also like the fact that they did that because the white barn portion of it, I think was just the candles. And then Bath and Body Works was the fragrance side, but this smells good. You are loved. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so I grabbed another Georgia peach just in case uh, one of them wants a Georgia peach. And if they don't, I'll have two. And like I said, it smells yummy. So I'm okay if I end up having uh, two of the same. And another, you are loved. And like I said, if they want, they can um, pick, you know, from whatever ones they want. And I don't know how long the sales last. I'm gonna check my email, but I'll probably go back um, and grab a couple more before the sale ends. And this one is White Fiji Sands. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, this one, I'm feeling like right now, this one might be my favorite. This White Fiji Sands, and oh my God, just look at the container. It just looks really classy and elegant and clean and fresh and airy. Mm. So that's White Beach Sands. And then the last one, guys, is you had me at Aloha. So I don't know if I'm feeling like uh, all vacation-y right now and I just started grabbing the ones that were like, reminded me of a location. So actually all of these are White Barn. So I was wrong, all of these are white barn and I do have one that is a Bath and Body Works. And it is the last one, it is the You Had Me at Aloha. And this one smells good. This is very soft and sensual. So I love this one. And um, there's the packaging on it. And if you don't like, if you say for instance, if you were setting up um, you know, you were styling it and you didn't want the label to show. I've seen people take the label off and then you may wonder, oh, well, if you take the label off, you won't know what the candle is. Well, you, you will know because at the bottom, they also um, include what it is. So it's at the bottom. Um, so you, you do have the option of peeling this off. I've seen someone that I follow on. Um, she is a designer. She um, buys a lot of these candles. And so she has a thing about when it has all this stuff on it. So she actually takes this off, but the other option would be, you can just turn it this way. So if you were styling it and you, and I don't know if you can see it there, you know, you can just turn it on the back side. And so the label isn't showing. It doesn't necessarily bother me. So I'm okay with it, but it's just depend. It depends on the person. So I picked up 11 candles. Um, I was gonna get 12, but what happened was the lines um, started to get long and I was like, okay, I don't wanna hold up the line to go grab another one um, because one of them that I grabbed, it was not a part of the deal and it was 24.50, so I did have 12. And she was like, this one is not a part of the sale. So I didn't wanna pay 24.50, so and I also didn't want to hold up the line to go grab another one. So like I said, I don't know how long the sale is going to last. If I don't go back out to a location, I can order online and have it shipped and I'm fine. So it's not going to be a rush for me to get it because I already have these and it will take me a while to burn these out. But anyway, um, as I stated, so once, you know, people started lining up out the store, I was able to go in. I was the third person in line. You grab your bags, you shop, grab what you want, you get in the line, and then they do have the markers in there, you know, indicating the six feet apart. And then when you get to the register, you know, it was a fairly fast process for me, at least I felt that way. They ring you up, and then once you leave out of the store, there were people at that location at least lined up outside 
Once someone comes out, they allow the next person to come in. So while I was in there shopping, us being the first group, it probably was no more than 10 to 12 people in the store. And as you know, Bath & Body Works is not really big. It's not a store where people can truly spread out. So it was no more than 10 to 12 of us in there. And then, you know, once people started getting in line, they did not allow people to come in until someone was coming out. So when I came out, they allowed someone to now they were able to come into the store. So that's it guys. Um, like I said, I was going to come up here and show you if I went to Bath and Body Works, show you what I picked up. Also, I did not get to go to Tuesday morning. Not sure if I'm going to go today. Um, I went to Home Depot. Like I said, I returned the tape and then picked up a Scotch brand this time. Very sturdy. Very pleased with that. I will not pick up. I think the brand is HDX. Don't pick up that brand. It is the Home Depot brand. It's very fragile. It's not sturdy at all. So when you're trying to pull it off and, you know, take the boxes on that um, dispenser, it just constantly pops. And I didn't have time for that. So, yeah, so I returned that. And then while in there, my daughter asked me to, I was supposed to grab some rocks for her plant. And then um, she needed me to pick up a mailbox post for her. So I did. I picked that up for her. And let me tell you, Home Depot has been jumping. We, like I said, I'm a fan of Home Depot, but I frequent that side where the Home Depot is, so I see it. They have been booming. I guess because of the pandemic, people are focusing on, you know, if this was our forever home, I definitely would be working on. I want me a pergola so bad we would be either building one or purchasing one and putting it together. I would be putting my backyard oasis together with my patio furniture, fire pit, all of that. That's what people have been doing. Um, building stuff, you know, just doing stuff in the home that they normally wouldn't have time to do because we're doing so many other things. But what I can say is for me and my family, me and my husband and our dog, we have been very, the, this time has allowed us to get really, really close. Not that we weren't close before, but with working and, you know, things that we do in our personal time, and then sometimes our work having to come home with us, we have had the opportunity to spend so much time together, um, whether it be watching movies, sitting around talking, riding around, you know, because we're not going in places, but riding around having lunch dates in our cars, dinner dates in our cars, breakfast in our cars, and just sitting, talking, and people watching, and just riding around, looking at homes, because that's what I like to do, and um, just enjoying. We, we have thoroughly been enjoying this time, and like I said, my time has been dedicated to self-care, focusing on my me, mind, body, and spirit, and I just feel like I'm going to come out of this or that I am coming out of this a better person. Um, it, it just, I just, you know, I just feel like there's a purpose for everything. There is nothing that happens to us or that happens in this life that God is surprised about because he's not. He's not surprised. He knew that this very thing was going to happen, though tragic for many, um, because I suffered loss in my family. I also suffered illnesses in my ho household. Um, but we, you know, have been brought closer together through this pandemic. And um, I'm just grateful to God for all the good and the bad um, because it was all a part of building character and just bringing about a sense of appreciation and love for family and appreciation for what we have, whether it is our homes, our jobs, and our family and our health and strength. So guys, I'm going to end it here. You guys, you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday in preparation for the work week next week. My husband and I are about to get up and um, head out. I've already showered. Um, I just have to put my uh, top on and my sneakers. And then we're probably going to grab something for breakfast. And we're going to head over to my daughter's because my husband is going to put the mailbox post up for her. Um, she already had one that was up, but I think... Um, someone might have backed into it or maybe some kids hit it with a ball, I'm not sure. But the post that she bought was a little um, on the delicate side and the one that I picked up yesterday was the one that my husband said was 
the one that she should have purchased. It's a little more sturdier. So anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, if you haven't had a chance to go to Bath and Body Works, or if you still have a plethora of candles from the, I think maybe the last fall or whenever, then maybe you don't have to go, maybe you need to replenish. But anyway, this is what I hauled in and I'm definitely gonna go back. So enjoy the rest of your days, guys. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.